Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In this high level domain setup video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how you can actually add domains into high level. Now, one thing to consider as well, if you haven't yet added any domains into high level to follow this process that I'm about to show you, it is slightly different to what is explained inside of the high level documentation. However, it is gonna save you a lot of time in the long run, and a lot of people actually pay for this information, so it is really good to get it for free. Now, just before I get started, if you haven't yet got high level and you're thinking about joining, I've also got an exclusive 30 day free trial. This is going to take you to the pro plan. However, you can downgrade whenever you want. Plus you're going to receive a bonus course as soon as you sign up. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. The link to that is in the description. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is first log into Go High Level. You wanna then come down to your client account that you're wanting to add the domain into. This is a demo account that I created for training purposes. And what you wanna do is go right down to the bottom and go to settings. Now, once you log into settings, what you wanna do is scroll down to domains, click on domains, and inside here is where all of your domains and subdomains are going to be listed. Now, this particular brand is called Funnel Stacked. I also have a checkout subdomain for adding in my sales funnels that I actually sell the services on. And then I also have a training subdomain in which I put in training funnels. So then if people want to learn how to use particular parts of my services, they can go to the training section and it's going to be there. So what we're going to do for this example is I have a spare domain in my Namecheap account. So I'm gonna be using that for this particular tutorial. If you haven't even yet purchased a domain, what I recommend you do is come to cloudflare.com and go ahead and register for an account. Once you log in, this is going to be what your back office will look like. If you don't have any websites on here previously, you won't see this, but what you can do if you wanna purchase your domain through Cloudflare, it is going to cut out a step, is just come to register, go to register domains, and then you can search for a domain name inside of here. So if it's Phil's Marketing Agency, for example, agency.com it's going to go ahead and search to see if it's available inside cloudflare and then as soon as you purchase it it's going to add the domain to your back office and it's going to appear like here so if you haven't purchased your domain on Cloudflare, that's also fine. Come and follow these instructions here. If you have, go to the chapters or the timestamps in the description and fast forward to the next step. So for this example, I'm using this domain I've already purchased called postenvy.com. I'm gonna go ahead and click add site. Now what this is going to do is see where it's actually registered and give you instructions on how to transfer it to Cloudflare. So you wanna just choose the free plan for now. This is just all the features we need, so that's fine. It's now scanning your DNS records, so this is just going to take a few seconds. And as you can see, I have no records inside here, so it's completely fine. If you have some, it may ask you to um, choose if you want them proxied or not. You can uncheck all the proxies if you want, and it will go to the next step. So go ahead, click on continue. Okay, and it's gonna say, without DNS records, Cloudflare is unable to activate your site. It's best if you set up your records now. I'm just gonna click on confirm. Now it's saying, okay, what you wanna do is log into your Namecheap account. It's already seen that Namecheap is the registrar. It's saying remove these different uh, DNS or name server records and add in these ones, okay? So I'll show you how to do that. First, I'm gonna copy this first Cloudflare name server. So click to copy. Now I'm gonna to go to my domain list, click on manage, okay? Let that load for just a second. And then if we come down to name service, whichever domain registrar you're using should have the same sort of system where you can find name service somewhere. Then what you wanna do is choose custom DNS, paste in the record like so, come back and then copy the second Cloudflare record and then paste it into name server two. Click on the little tick or save whatever your domain registrar has, and then give it a second, and it should say here, it may take up to 48 hours to take effect. Realistically, you're looking between one and 10 minutes for it to change over. So once you've done that, come back to Cloudflare one more time, go ahead, press done, check name service, and it's saying, um, check out the recommendations. You can just skip those for now, that's fine. And then come down here and click check name service, 
and it's going to check them. It's saying it may take a few hours, but realistically, it's going to take just a short amount of time. Then what you want to do if you're sitting on this page is just come back on this little button here. And then it's going to say here pending name server update. So now is the waiting game. What I'm going to do is pause this video and time to see how long it's actually taken for the DNS records to update. Okay, so that is now done. It took just over three minutes for it to go through, so that's really good. Once it's gone through, you will notice it's got this little check here which says active. That means you can now use this domain. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on your new domain. And then what we want to do is on the left here, we see DNS. This is where we're going to be adding in some records from high level. So what you want to do is come back to your high level dashboard inside of the domains tab. What you want to do is click on add new domain. And what you want to do is type in that domain name. So I'm going to type in postnv.com. Now what you will see is it says here, note, please make sure to have either a record pointing to this URL or a C name pointing to flash funnels mes uh, message sender.com and for www, right? So what we want to do is copy this address right here. I prefer using a C name, just a little bit easier. Okay, so copy this once again, so you can right click copy and we want it to have a www for a C name. So keep that in mind. So come back to your DNS records, okay? Click on add new record, choose C name from this type, okay? So C name, www as it asked, and then go ahead and paste in that record. Now you wanna turn off proxy status and go ahead and click on save, okay? So that is the first part done. So go ahead, click on add, okay? And then it's going to see if that domain has worked and it says, yay, domain www.postenvy.com added successfully, right? Now you can add it to whichever funnel you want if you like, or you can do it at the funnel level settings. Now, if this is for your own personal website and you want to copy what I did here with the checkout pages, hosting different domains, and then the training pages, hosting different funnels, what you can do is go ahead and do this little trick inside of Cloudflare. So come back to the DNS records inside of Cloudflare, go ahead, click on add new record one more time, go ahead, go back to CNAME. This time though, I want you to put in an asterisk, which is the eight when you hold down shift. And then what you wanna do is paste in that record one more time, turn off proxy one more time as well, and then go ahead and click on save. Now what this is actually doing is pretty much saying anything below postnv.com, you want it to also go through this CNAME panel, right? So what that's going to allow us to do, if you add in a new domain, let's just say I was gonna do checkout.postnv.com, okay? So I'm doing the checkout for the postnv page. You can go ahead, click on add, and what this is going to do is it's going to use the star part of the record that we just added and it's going to put it inside the subdomain. So this is a really fast way that you can create subdomains inside of your business. Now, if you're creating this for an agency as well, here's a little trick. A lot of the times you're waiting for the client to send over their domain details or anything like that. But what you can do if you want to go ahead and say build a website or start the snapshot nice and quick, you can go ahead and add a new domain. Let's just say, for example, I had a client called Joe. He owned a garage. His subdomain, oh, sorry, his website was joesgarage.com, right? I could put in joesgarage.postnv.com. And what I could do is start building out Joe's Garage snapshot inside of um, the, the subdomain I've just created. And then if they send over their domain details, then I can transfer it over later. It's just gonna save a bit of time. Now the last thing to do inside of this page is once you've added in your domain, if you've already got your website going, what you want to do is also choose where you want your domain native, where you want it to go, the naked domain. So click on this little pencil button on the right. And what you want to do is just choose a home page for your root domain. So it can be any type of page that you want to choose. Majority of the time it's going to be a home page. So go ahead, choose that, click on save. Now anytime someone goes to this live website, what they're going to do is end up at your website for your business, right? And that's essentially what we're trying to do.
So as you can see, it has now taken us to the home page. Once again, this is the domain. It's worked perfectly, the one we've just added, and it's taken me to the home page. And this template here is actually the template I give out to my referrals. It's a SaaS agency template. It's got a lot of little tweaks. I know a lot of people share a similar type of template, but this comes with a bunch of extras as well. Now the last thing you want to do now that we've added in the home page, we've added in some subdomains, you know exactly how this works, is actually linking it to funnels. We're not going to be using it inside of the, this uh, area here. Instead we're going to go to a funnel and we're actually going to link it inside there. So what we're going to do first is come to sites inside of the client tab. I'll even show you with websites first. So let's just say this was the website I wanted to link to that domain. You wanna click on it um, by clicking on it and then come to settings, okay? And then inside settings, it says here domain. What you wanna do is then choose the domain that you want for that website and then go ahead and click on save. Now all of the pages inside of that website will be linked to that domain. Extremely easy to do. Now the second part is funnels. Once again, let's just say I wanted to uh, add the essentials plan here and I wanted it to link to my subdomain I've just created. Come to settings and then once again, come to the checkout page that you've just created. This is for payments that are related to the memberships that you're selling if you're on a SaaS plan. So come inside here, choose checkout.yournewdomain.com and then go ahead, click on save. Once again, it's going to then link the entire funnel to that new domain. So that's how quick and easy it actually is to add domains to high level. In fact, this whole high level domain setup, including the um, time it took for the name service to go on was less than 15 minutes. So it is an absolute quick tutorial for you to get things done. Once again, I hope you got value from this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I've got so many great go high level tutorials coming out in the near future and if you haven't got high level just yet and you want to get my course bonuses as well as the extra training make sure you go to the link in the description you'll get an extended 30-day free trial and if you aren't on the SAS pro plan and you want to give it a go if you use this little form here you're going to get an additional 30-day free trial of the uh, of the pro plan so go ahead and grab that as well there's some amazing things happening inside of the SAS pro plan um, so I'm excited to share it with everyone that's it for this high level domain setup video. Once again, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.